लास्ट टाइम अब्दुल रहमान यू आर बिहाइंड लास्ट टाइम यू आर नॉट लाइक up to the mark you didn't do their uh, your seven mark question this time no 40 mark question right last time i did seven marks i told you uh, okay you did okay fine anyways so uh, please complete your work okay uh, what about the guys who are not raising and abdullah subhan hurry up let me know abdullah subhan are you here Yes, tell me. Yes, sir. Tell me, uh, seven and fourteen mark question. Uh, I gave sir, I did se uh, seven mm -hmm. marks, but I can't find the answer of fourteen one. We did in the class. What do you mean by can't find? And the answer is in the notes. The answer is in the marking scheme I shared with you, and uh, the answer we discuss in the class as well. The answer is in the book as well, and. The answer is almost the same as of seven mark question because that's related to the same topic. Why were British able to, you know, expand uh, their control in India? And uh, I changed this to fourteen mark question. That was was industrial revolution the main factor British were able to, you know, expand uh, in India. So do you agree, Kibris? That question we discussed in the class. Did you follow the class? Yes, last uh, last lesson. Yes, sir. Please, everything is there. Do your question answer. If you are not doing now, when when I don't know, when huh? Uh, would you like me to call your parents, Lam? Abdullah Subhan. Sir. You will listen to me then, huh? Right. Yes. Completed before the next class, and uh, everything is there. Check notes, check marking scheme, check book, and um, everything is there. A uh, mobile share, Hussain. Hurry up, please. Don't take long. Yes, sir, can you give us a brief explanation of the fourteen marks, sir? Sorry. Can you just give us a brief explanation of the fourteen mark question? How to answer it? Um, yes, sir. Okay, um, but please follow. We are talking about fourteen mark question a lot. Uh, I will do it again, no problem. But please follow, and uh, uh, it, until you don't do it by yourself, you can't understand. Because when I'm telling you, it's simple. It's very simple. There is no, you know, major complicated thing in this. It's a simple thing. You may understand, but you will. Actually, get all of it, the key concept and everything when you do by yourself. So, please do it. Okay, Abdul Rahman, hurry up. You done with you? Okay, Muhammad Aman. Um, sir, I know how to do it. I just have to write and I will submit it to today at night. Please, uh, in revision, in revision, everyone should know when we are revising. Uh, there is no purpose if you are not doing your work and uh, uh, you can't say that like, okay, I'll do it the next time because now I'm going to revise with you the other things. So in revision, you need to be very much regular and we are not doing too many things. There was only one 40 mark question last time and there was a weekend as well. So this way, uh, it will not help you. Arslan, are you up? Sir, I'll do it today. You should have done it, please. Mama Daniel. Daniel. Yes, sir. One thing is that first time I heard you uh, responding, right? You did not respond to my call uh, many times. Why? Sir, no, it's, um, sir there's some uh, very... Uh, um, Mm -hmm. My laptop has like a problem where my microphone couldn't uh, speak, mm -hmm. and actually speak. So mm -hmm. I went, uh, I went, I went to my i. I bought an iPad. Then okay. uh, when I got my iPad, uh, so I used, okay. I used um, Okay, fine, fine. Uh, now that you can respond, don't mute your mic. Uh, let me finish first. Um, uh, what about uh, your homework, like revision, seven mark question? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. I'll uh, I'll do it today, and I'll 
uh, give it to you in like OK, and uh, any problem in the understanding as how to answer for seven or 40 mark question? Uh, no, sir. OK, good. So could do your work, please. Okay. Hassan. Hassan. Uh, sir, I have a question. Uh, let me finish two guys left. I'll come to you. Hassan Abed. Hassan Abed. Muhammad Hassan. Hurry up now. Why are you taking so much time? Hurry up, Hassan. Hassan, tell me. Can't hear you, guy. Mm, OK. Can can you hear me? Hassan Abid? You are muting, unmuting, not saying a word. I can't hear you. If you can't hear me, or you can hear me, but I can't hear you, just type it to me. Just send in the text. Uh, Muhammad Gundi. Yes, sir. What about the work? Sir, the two seven mark questions, sir, I have sent. And for team mark question. The 14 mark I will do today and send you. Sir. Please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. No, no delays in, in revision. Yes, Abdurrahman, hurry up. Tell me what's your question. I uh, said my question is that uh, when we do the word, uh, do we have to submit it? Uh, look, uh, before I was telling you to practice because revision we are discussing in the class, I told you to practice, but now I see I need some evidence. So I won't be giving you all question to write and submit it to me, but uh, maybe one question, sometimes seven, sometimes 40 mark questions. So I'll give you one question in each class to sub for submission and that I will share with you, right? Okay. So that so that I, I can I can see and I can uh, have an evidence that you are doing your work, right? The rest of the questions, uh, because it's a revision exam preparation, you may be doing many questions. You don't need to submit all of that, those questions, but I will be telling you specifically that this is the question you got to submit it to me. I'll share the same in, in a page with you, right? During the class time, I will tell you this is the page, this is the question, this is what I'm sharing, this is what you have to do before the next class. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK, now listen to me, everyone. Uh, that. Uh, there is there was a one question from one student about 14 marks. Uh, uh, the explanation part of it, I will go through another question. This question you will be now. This will be your next practice question. And uh, uh, you will write and submit it to me and through this I'm I'm explaining one more time so we've done a lot of time so listen to me uh, carefully and see that what are the different uh, uh, stages and steps answering 14 mark question so be done with at least the concept do you understand my point okay sir did you send it to the file in the Group, group chat and yeah yeah this WhatsApp. please no 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 not whatsapp is not for this purpose uh i have shared in your um in check-in files yeah ms team every material what i i will be sharing the best place is to check history files like where you can easily access and download and see all that so that is the best place right whatsapp how can you trace so many messages coming the things goes you know, in the back. Um, OK, now this is one more question for Dima question and this question you are going to answer. And submit it to me. And uh, also the explanation part. Uh, let me see that question first. Now, uh, this question is the same question, but only the statement changes. And here, I first of all, I would like to know from the students who have done previous 14 mark question, 
that what was your response how did you um, like let me first read and then i'll ask you a question was the india act 9, 1784 the main reason why the british were able to expand uh, beyond bengal between 1784 and 1850 explain your answer first of all tell me this is 10 mark question there is also a 10 mark question concept first of all tell me that is this question um, somewhat similar to the question we discussed previously was industrial revolution the main reason for british able to expand their control yes sir right other yes, boys sir. other boys yes sir okay so it is the same now what see the difference see the difference they mentioned india act of 1784 now this india act it is related to which of those four reasons factors we discussed i mean is it part of military superiority is it part of we discussed four reason for british expansion in india do you remember that in previous lesson hmm? hey boys yes sir, yes, sir. Please, we discuss. I spent whole lesson, then you did your work and you are not responding to me. We discussed four reasons. Let me repeat. Number one, military superiority. British had you know, powerful military, advanced weapon, etc. Number two, uh, that they got uh, control of uh, vast land and riches of India at very early stages, which they later on used. And uh, you must have read that through Battle of Plassey, books or Mysore, etc. So, this huge resource they use for further expansion, number two. Number three was the industrial revolution we discussed that because of that they got advantage and all that. So it helped them to further expand in India. And lastly, we discussed fourth one was administrative reforms, their administrative system. Now tell me the factor which is mentioned here in this question, which is, I have put in bracket and underline it. It is related to which one of the four uh, points I just mentioned. So administrative reforms. Yes, reforms, administrative reforms. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please respond. Like when I ask a confirmation question, uh, I don't want one or two yeses. You all open yes, say yes, I don't mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, good, good. So. Yes, sir. Fine, fine. Uh, let me check the text. Yes, you? Okay. Okay, now listen. So uh, this is 10 mark question. Uh, you can understand the concept of 10 mark question as well, which is not very much different than that of 40 mark question. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. So okay, the, here, out of those administrative reforms, uh, they have mentioned the India Act 1784. So we discussed that this made the position of Governor General a royal appointment. Lord Con Willis was appointed to this position in 1786. A board of control replaced the senior company's board of directors, changing it from a trading uh, concern to a sovereign body in which the Crown had direct control of Bengal. A police system was developed to help in the administering of justice and maintaining law and order. So this was one act, one law which British passed, British Parliament actually passed. And this was the beginning of their administrative reforms in India. After that, many acts follow and administrative reform continued. And these reforms, you know, provided British uh, very powerful uh, holding, strong holding in India uh, from which they could further expand. So as this one act is mentioned, so you should be clearly knowing that what is this act about. And now you can see here only one thing that here a board of directors, board of control, uh, which was app appointed by British government now replaced East India Company's board of directors. So now you know any company, any company, private company now even, it has a board of directors. 
uh, those could be investors, those could be uh, technical, a high professional official depends upon the volume of the company, how big it is. But board of director is the one that takes decision about uh, that venture, that business, that company. Is it clear? Yes, sir. OK, now previously this was a trading company. You know, this was a private trading company came to India. By now, British felt that this company uh, had a lot of land and resources under their control now and that they were very corrupt we discussed and in bengal they looted plunder and there was famine also many people died so because of mismanagement because of huge resources finally british government through india act of 1784 replaced company's board of director with official board of control which was now government represented and uh, if this board of uh, control took con uh, control of the company and then obviously they started with the other reforms like as it is mentioned uh, police system and governor general appointed so this one act and then rest uh, you will see that other reasons uh, this uh, points are mentioned here right about the lord Lord Cornwallis introduced the permanent settlement in 1793, making Zamindar of Bengal land landowners subject to their payment of fixed sum to the British. In 1793, the uh, this amounted to some 10 percent of the total sum of the collected by the Zamindar. Now this is further further laws which were introduced by the British. Local rulers were persuaded to join subsidiary alliances by Lord Wellesley. We discussed this subsidiary alliances through which they expanded. Okay, and the annexation of land, Hyderabad, and all that. So now this question here, uh, I want you to uh, prepare this question. Okay, uh, this is a ten mark question. Actually, is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK, now uh, in this question, uh, you will uh, write an intro statement. Intro statement could be very simple one. Uh, you can see uh, the, the intro statement. Uh, it was an act of parliament passed by the British government in 1783. Uh, what is the date? 1784, not 384. Okay, and then you will go on to explain this, right? And in explanation of this, followed by one, two, three other these reasons. So there are lots of figures and dates which you have to learn it, right? So the pattern is almost the same. The reason identified in the question, followed by reason number one, two, three, and then your conclusion. So this is a 10 mark question uh, this question is your next uh, assignment is it clear yes yes sir yes, okay sir. now now 14 mark question on the same pattern uh, 14 mark question is likewise that whatever is mentioned in the question statement we'll take it as a first paragraph right and uh, we mentioned the other factor related to the topic. So uh, other two, at least two to three. And in cases we can write four, so two to three, four. These are paragraphs. Paragraph about what is mentioned in question and then your own other reason selection. And finally, fifth could be your conclusion. So uh, this is the standard pattern of uh, 14 mark question. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the yes. boy, no, sir. the boy who sir. asked the question. Yes. Yes, Ashur Nadim. Sir, sir, I didn't know uh, a question. I forgot to put my name. OK, now uh, who asked me the question to explain uh, for the mark question in the beginning? I did. Okay. OK, Mubashir, so did you get the point? Mm, sir, no, sir. No? OK, tell me what what, what uh, OK, fine. It's OK, no problem. Tell me. Um, uh, like, do you have more specific question 
um, then that I did not understand. Like, ask me what what is there. No, the pattern. Yeah. The pattern is a similar question. I I do not understand that. You don't. You did not understand uh, the pattern of the question. Hmm. Yes. Listen, what you mean? Okay. Now listen. Well, uh, I will. I will go through one more question. Okay. And uh, through this question, I will explain it to you. The pattern. Very simple. Though I told it just now, but let's see. The there is another question. Just one second. Okay. Now, as we were talking of uh, reforms, uh, Mubashir, you listen to me and respond to me uh, on every of my question and rest of you as well. Uh, we just uh, talk about British reforms in India, right? Yes, sir. Yes. We talk about uh, administrative system. That's mean reforms, right? Yes, sir. The whole question, previous question, which we discussed was about administrative reforms. And they started with uh, 1784. Uh, this was their first, like, comprehensive law about India, uh, India Act, okay, through which uh, the government, British government, replaced uh, companies board of directors with its own board of control. And now that they started off with a whole set of administrative reforms, we call them British reforms in India, right? Is this clear? Um, yes, yes, sir. sir. Okay, now this is the topic basically. This is the topic British reform in India, administrative reform in India. And as I told you, that British started introducing reforms, like this was the first, and then they continued with, 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 uh, onward, like uh, up to 1856. And then there was a war of independence, and then all of India was there. Now, during this period of time, when British were expanding in India and they were gaining more and more control of India, they were annexing more and more territories in India. They were controlling more and more lands of India. So as British India was increasing, mean the land under their control was increasing. So the reforms, the, the introduction of more and more reform continued during this period of time. And this topic we already discussed, we discussed under these heading British uh, educational reforms. Now uh, uh, we discuss about uh, social. Can you recall now? Social, cultural, uh, economic. Can you recall these? Like we discussed in detail British reform, economic, military. Yes, All of you boys, military, Religious. Can you at least uh, recognize that this this thing, this topic we discussed uh, in our previous lessons? Yes, sir. There is only yes, and I told you in the beginning that yes, I want sir. when a question is, I want everyone yes. to say yes. Okay, so uh, British reform, as we as yes, I'm, I'm actually um, before discussing the question, I just want you to get connected uh, with the topic. So our topic is basically administrative reforms of the British in India, and this started off with this 1784, 1773. Before that, in 1773, 
the act which was which was passed by the British, it was only to give warning to the company to improve government. Do you remember that? We discussed this, 1773. Okay, let me tell you if you don't remember. The first act came in 1773 through which a company was warned to improve its governance because it was mismanagement, managing corruption, etc. 1784, this is also known as Pitts India Act. Do you remember now? Yes, sir. Pitts India. In this company, a board of directors were replaced. So here, company was only warned that improved governance. Here, British take now took now the action and they replaced. So all this started 1773 with the warning to the company to improve government. From this till 1856, like when they were expanding in British, they introduced more and more laws in India, which was under the British control. And we discussed all so of this. Reforms, right? Sorry. Sir, mostly, uh, mostly it was because of the educational reforms. No, there were all of these. We discussed this under this heading: educational reform, social, cultural, economic, military, religious, political. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now the question on this topic is, uh, and we discussed that these reforms were British introduced these reforms, and they managed um, run. Uh, the areas which were under their control according to their own, you know, education system, cultural uh, administration, uh, religious views, economic policy, military policy. So they introduce all of theirs like uh, whatever like suited them. So this had an impact on India and we discussed that these became the reason for war of independence. Do you remember now? Yes, sir. Only one yes, boy, sir. yes, sir. Only two boys, yes, sir. What about the rest of the boys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So these were these were the reasons for the war of independence as well. But here we are talking about that which one, which one of these reforms? Now, Mubashar, you listen to me now. 14 mark question concept. Now that I revise with you the topic administrative reforms in India, right? And in 14 mark question, uh, in if, if there is a seven mark question on this topic, uh, the examiner will simply say, um, why did British introduce uh, reforms in India? OK, so you will tell them like this, 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 this is the reason they introduced reforms in India. But in 14 mark question, uh, examiner Supposes, supposes, you know, meaning of suppose. Yes, I think, imagine. Think, think, imagine, supposes, or assume that he believes now that you know uh, this topic, you know that British introduced reform, and you know that these reforms were introduced, and you, you know that these reforms had impact on the Indian. Uh, because they did not like them because uh, it was against their views in military, some other reason, religious, uh, the way British dealt religious affairs. So Indian didn't like the other reason. The way British uh, pursue their economic uh, policy, uh, economy, uh, Indian didn't like it because there were other reason because they put heavy taxes on Indian, banned them doing certain businesses and turned Indian into poor laborers. So definitely they did not like it. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So all of these reforms, what British introduced, had an impact on the Indians, had uh, more or less bad impact on the Indians, and they did not like it. They hated, they resented. Is this clear? Yes, sir. OK, now see in 14 mark question how things go. Did educational reforms have more important effect on the Indian than social, religious, economic ones introduced by the British during the year 1773 to 
56. This is the question. Now tell me, did you understand the question statement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mubashir, did you understand the question statement? Yes, sir. OK, now this question is a comparatively little uh, easier question because here examiner did not only mention one thing, which is uh, educational reform, but he also told you that you got to compare it with social, religious and economic one. So this question is basically already like kind of uh, whole question pattern is given to you by the examiner. Now see, which is the point mentioned by the examiner first? Tell me, Mubash Hararia. Um, sir, educational reforms. Uh, educational reforms, OK. And what examiner wants you to compare with? Uh, he wants us to compare with social, religious, and then economical ones. Econ economic ones, right? Is it clear? Yes, sir. OK, now this, this is already a whole pattern is given. If Examiner can give you a simple statement. Did educational reforms have a more important effect on the Indian than the other reforms? Do you understand? It'll be the same question Bernard asking. Yeah, yeah. Then you have to enlist as I enlisted here. You have to enlist the other reforms by yourself and you're going to pick other two, two, three reforms, three reforms, ideal one, right? Is it clear? Um. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now this is the pattern basically and uh, this goes like this if you see here that the one which is uh, done by the examiner this educational reform you can see here this is the first thing which is mentioned. Uh, Lord Macaulay introduced school across the country like explaining the educational reform. Is it clear? Yes sir. Yes sir. <clears throat> yes. So what is what is the first paragraph about educational reform and uh, then the Christian missionaries uh, rest of the thing and then this is second is political reforms like this is one first economic reform and then you can see here uh, religious reforms explain Christian missionaries are here okay and uh, you will find out all of these reforms, religious missionaries up there, although lang common language is a common factor, educated Indian. The whole there are. Yes. Yes. Um, sir, uh, will there be MCQs in the exam? No MCQs in the exam. First, let me finish this. So first your paragraph is this one, educational reforms, first paragraph, second paragraph about social, third paragraph about religious, fourth paragraph about economics. After that, fifth paragraph is conclusion. In conclusion, you can agree with the examiner. Yes, that education reforms were very important. They have uh, important effect on the Indian because through this British introduced their culture and language and Indian felt that their culture and language is a threat and it is changing their ways of life. Or you can say, though education reform had a greater impact on the Indian, but to my understanding, economic reform were more important because it, it turned Indian into poor laborer. They were heavily taxed and banned to business and they hated and resented it very much. So the point is that you can agree with the examiner, you can disagree with the examiner. So this question pattern is simple. Let's start with first paragraph with whatever is mentioned by the examiner other three which are here and already identified so you don't have to so this is one this is two this is three this is four fifth is your conclusion in conclusion you can agree you can disagree or you can partially agree like this is important though this is important but also this is important so you can do 50 50 type of a conclusion so this is the wholesome uh, concept of a 14 mark question is it clear Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, boys. Sir. So, so uh, this these two questions uh, now you have to prepare and then write. Okay, sir, we have one. We already done this question. Okay, we have done it. So, so we have already done this. Question. Okay, uh, so this is for the pattern explanation. Uh, so oh, you have only one question, right? Till next class, and when is the next class? 
Oh, you have got a lot of time. A, uh, 8E on Thursday. OK, let me make one more thing. Uh, you, if you will just just one minute, I know it's a great time. Just one minute. If you can learn these uh, four mark question which are here in this document, which are very easy because uh, uh, they are not like who was Robert Clyde, like only four mark questions. Did you get my point? So do we have to learn them? Yes. Yeah, because we are revising, okay. we are learning, we are learning for exam. So if you can learn all, all four mark question here, right? In this document, okay? Is it clear? Okay, sir. Look, this chapter is part of your exam. This chapter we are revising and you have to learn this. I am giving you extra time. This is not a homework. Don't take it as homework. It's an exam preparation. Do you understand my point? Yes, sir. So you should yes, be uh, you should be thankful right? that this is good. Like you are preparing already. Otherwise, near exam, you would be lost. I know that this is very difficult. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes. I'm going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, do check your uh, history channel under your name. I will share the thing which you 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 uh, you're supposed to do before next class. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, you okay. send in the break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will send you. Okay, Allah is take your break. It's yes, five sir. minutes. Allah is 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 Allah